Have you ever wondered about the Holy Roman Empire and its origin? A story that spans over a millennium, the Holy Roman Empire is a tale that has captivated the minds of historians and enthusiasts alike. Born from the ashes of the Western Roman Empire, it was a unique entity that bore a complex political structure, unlike any other. This was an empire that was more a confederation of numerous states than a single unified entity. It was a melting pot of languages, cultures and traditions, all under the banner of the Holy Roman Emperor. From the North Sea to the Mediterranean, its influence extended far and wide, shaping the course of European history. Over the course of our journey, we'll explore the rise and fall of this fascinating empire, delve into its golden age, and examine the factors that led to its eventual decline. Now let's delve deeper into the fascinating history of the Holy Roman Empire. So, how did the Holy Roman Empire come into existence? It all started with a man named Charlemagne, a Frankish king with a vision. As he expanded his territories across much of Western and Central Europe, he caught the attention of Pope Leo III. Charlemagne's power and influence were undeniable but it was the Pope's coronation of him on Christmas Day, 800 AD, that truly marked the birth of the Holy Roman Empire. This coronation was more than a mere formality. It was a significant event that held profound implications. The Pope's act of crowning a secular ruler signified a union of religious and political authority. This set a precedent for the Holy Roman Empire's future, intertwining the church and state in a bond that would last for centuries. With its establishment, the Holy Roman Empire embarked on a long journey that would shape the course of European history. What were the glory days of the Holy Roman Empire like? Well, let's dive in and explore. The Golden Age of the Holy Roman Empire began under the reign of Otto I, who ascended to the throne in the mid-10th century. Otto, often referred to as Otto the Great, was a ruler with a clear vision, to create a Christian empire that was united under a strong monarchy. Under Otto's rule the empire expanded, absorbing territories and bringing them under its influence. This was not just about adding land to the map, it was a strategic move to consolidate power, create stability, and establish a common identity. But the influence of the Holy Roman Empire was not just political, it was also religious. As the emperor, Otto saw himself as the protector of the church. His reign was marked by a close relationship between the empire and the church, a partnership that brought spiritual authority to the emperor's rule. And then there was the cultural and intellectual renaissance. During the Golden Age, the Holy Roman Empire became a hub of learning and creativity. The Atonian Renaissance, as it was known, was a period of artistic and scholarly revitalization that saw the flourishing of architecture, literature, and the visual arts. But what made the Atonian Renaissance unique was its focus on the close relationship between the church and the monarchy. This was reflected in the art and architecture of the time, which often depicted religious themes and sought to glorify the emperor as a divine ruler. The reign of Otto and his successors, the Atonian dynasty, brought about a period of prosperity and power for the Holy Roman Empire. They established a strong central authority, expanded the empire's territories, and fostered a cultural and intellectual renaissance. But even in its golden age, the empire was not without its challenges. There were internal conflicts, power struggles, and external threats, yet, these challenges did not overshadow the achievements of the Golden Age. The Golden Age set the empire on a trajectory of prosperity and power, but like all empires it had its share of challenges. But what led to the decline and eventual fall of this once mighty empire? The Holy Roman Empire, a behemoth of its time, didn't crumble overnight. Its descent into oblivion was a slow burn, marked by a series of unfortunate events and detrimental factors. A significant contributor to the empire's downfall was internal strife. As the empire expanded, it became increasingly difficult to maintain unity among its diverse territories. Each region held its distinct culture, traditions and interests, and the central authority struggled to keep these disparate entities together. This led to frequent conflicts among various principalities, weakening the empire from within. Simultaneously the Holy Roman Empire faced mounting external threats. The Ottoman Empire with its formidable military prowess was a constant menace at the empire's eastern borders. Moreover, the rise of powerful nation-states like France and Sweden posed significant challenges to the Holy Roman Empire's dominance in European affairs. These external pressures squeezed the empire, further destabilizing it. Religious conflicts too played a considerable role in the empire's demise. The Protestant Reformation, initiated by Martin Luther in the early 16th century, sparked a wave of religious dissent across the empire. 
The resulting wars of religion, most notably the Thirty Years' War, tore the empire apart, eroding its political and social fabric. Finally, the empire's intricate political structure was its own Achilles' heel. The emperor, elected by a small group of prince electors, often lacked the authority to enforce imperial decrees across the vast empire. This decentralized system of governance, although innovative for its time, failed to provide the stability required for the empire's survival in the long run. In the end, it was Napoleon Bonaparte who delivered the coup de grace. In 1806, he forced Emperor Francis II to abdicate, effectively dissolving the Holy Roman Empire. The fall of the Holy Roman Empire marked the end of an era, but its legacy lives on in the annals of history. Its story, a testament to the transient nature of power and the inevitability of change, continues to captivate us centuries later. What can we take away from the story of the Holy Roman Empire? This vast entity stretching across the heart of Europe for over a thousand years has left an indelible mark on our shared history. The empire's founding, its golden age, its decline and fall, all these stages are a testament to the enduring struggle for power, territory, and influence. The Holy Roman Empire was a stage where the drama of history played out, where emperors and popes, kings and queens, knights and commoners all had roles in a grand narrative that shaped the Europe we know today. Its story serves as a reminder that empires rise and fall, but their legacies endure, influencing generations to come. So as we reflect on the Holy Roman Empire's journey, let's remember the lessons it offers. The empire's story tells us of the fleeting nature of power, the constant flux of borders, and the enduring impact of a shared past. The Holy Roman Empire, a relic of the past, continues to echo in the corridors of time, reminding us of the transient nature of power and the enduring influence of history.